Welcome to the Business Behind the Scene podcast with Francesca Moy, where we talk all about real business problems, real solutions, and getting actual results in your business. Hello, 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 and welcome to episode number 108 of Business Behind the Scene. Oh my goodness, we are at the last episode for 2021. Can you believe it? It has been an intense year for many, many, many of us, and I commend you for getting all the way here. What I love doing at the end of the year is to stop and look back and write a little post on my social media about what happened in 2021. What did I achieve? What did I, what were my dreams? What did I achieve out of them? What did I uh, love about 2021? What are actually the things that I were able to do in 2021? So I usually list all the things that I have done with my team, with my clients, with um, in my personal life and so on. Um, I go ahead and um, talk about all the things that happened in 2021 and then I celebrate and I remember everybody how to be gentle with themselves and, and how to acknowledge what you have achieved um, in such a short amount of time. You know, 12 months seems like a long time, but it's actually not that long. So it's really good for me to stop at the end of the year and a little bit of an, an assessment of what the year been like, what's, what, what am I proud of, what are my, um, my learnings, my growth, where, where can I improve next year um, and where do I want to go? When, am I happy with where I'm at and what are the things I want to change, what are the things I want to keep and what are the things that I want to do more of, what are the things I want to do less more less of. And that's it. That's my, my post. So today I wanted to actually share it with you, um, tell, telling you the story of what actually happened in 2021 in my life. And um, oh dear, we're starting with a January where I was like, yeah, 2021, you know, it's not going to be like 2020. Let's go. I had all of these things lined up. I had a virtual, a virtual conference. No, sorry. Uh, a conference that wasn't virtual. I was so excited about it. I had a national tour booked in. Um, everything. I was like, this is it. This is my year. And then what happened was a little bit of a disaster. We got the first long lockdown here in Queensland. And I was like, wait, what? No, 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 no. What are you talking about? There's no, no, you can't lock us down now. I did not expect that. And I think that it just knocked me on my knees. And I have to say, I went to be of a roller coaster of emotion uh, because I did not expect it. But that's okay because at the end of the day, we still managed to run 10 online masterclasses and 10 face to face workshops for the year. Uh, obviously, we stayed in Queensland because of the restrictions, but we did really good because out of that, we had over 700,000 in sales from 21 masterclasses. So, not bad, not bad. Um, but the thing is, what people don't see is that some of these masterclasses were amazing results and some of them were not as good. So there was a lot of pivoting, especially in the online one. Um, there was pivoting in the face-to-face -face one to get, try to get more people in the room. It's been a very um, interesting year, challenging, trying to get, um, you know, fine-tune the things that I knew that worked. Um, at one point, um, it's funny where the brain uh, was like, I don't know anything anymore. I'm not an expert anymore. There was my brain like wanted to go into all these um, self-doubt and I mean, if I wasn't an expert anymore, I wouldn't have achieved a million dollar business again, yet again, right? So um, it's fascinating how that brain of ours just keep going and keep doubting and keep putting that little voice inside of our heads. So um, I've done that. We have was able to speak in um, different uh, speaking gigs, events for the year, and I've done six different three-day workshops for my uh, clients, which means every second month, there's a, a three-day workshop for my high-end clients, which was priceless for them. Uh, and they were all online, so my clients were able to actually, um, you know, join without having to jump on a flight or anything like that. So it has been really exciting uh, this year for doing all of that. We have welcomed them over 54 brand new clients in our VIP program, which is really exciting, um, which is our, it's our 12 months program. And we're able to sold over a million dollars in the last um, 11 months without calculating. Obviously, December is not finished yet, so we haven't put that in there uh, either. So it's been 
incredible um, but well that's just like part of it then what we did that that's to the public right but then what we did is that we we started to um, we got over 56 virtual assistants um, to our clients so we have found and trained 55 different virtual assistants which is an incredible number and um, we were able to um, launch our business outside of Mafia Academy we got a 10 uh, Mafia Academy I'm um, sorry outside Mafia Academy virtual assistant with our new business which is called empowered virtual solutions so we find and train virtual assistant for people that are not uh, needing marketing support and not needing to learn how to um, boom the business they already know how to do that they just need support um, in the back end so that's what our virtual assistant will help them doing um, we have um, started to run reels in uh, Instagram which by the way I absolutely love uh, but again it's all new stuff that we we, we did uh, create but also so one of the things that I did this year is that I empowered my team to step up as coaches. So we did an internal certification for all my staff members in 2020. And this year they were um, coaching our clients. So we have added 20 calls every single month for our clients that they can jump on and ask questions and, and really, um, you know, um, have access to my team and has been priceless because the the clients are like wow like your team is next level um it takes away the pressure of having me everywhere um the clients have way more support because before a lot of clients were like oh i just want francesca i'm not gonna ask anybody else and that's a limiting not just to them but to us and, and the growth of the business but also the growth of their business so it's been like a game changer um i'm proud of every single one of my virtual assistants step up now and the coaching clients um they're helping the 500k clients was created and launched and and it's just gone to the next level um it's just been a year of growth for every single one of my team and when i asked them i actually um i want to tell you guys uh, this thing when i asked them the other day we did a, a final meeting before the end of the year and um and i was like okay guys tell me what was your word for 2021 and what's going to be the word for 2022 so i'm going to share with you in this podcast the 2021 word and then i'm going to tell you in the next podcast what are the 2022 words that we come up with with um so um we had like a lot of um people saying that you know it was adapting growth resilience flow um challenging extreme next level um, those are the words that came up from my team uh, in 2021 and I love the fact that most of them said growth because it's one of my highest value, value. and I love the fact that they um, feel like this business is stretching them to grow because without growth nobody nobody's going to be feeling fulfilled right they're going to run away they're going to find something else that's going to challenge them so I love the fact that this business challenge them stretch them get them to grow so the whole business grows together so I just I just am beyond proud of what my team were able to create in 2021 but also what happened is that we moved to the new office so we bought an office in December in 2020 and we moved across between December and January so at the beginning of January 2021 we settled in this new office which is incredibly uh, exciting and then I also moved into the office uh, to be able to buy and renovate a, a unit so I bought another unit in 2021 um, where I moved in now and I'm settled in and it's so beautiful uh, and exciting to be able to proudly say you know what it's been a challenging year and it hasn't been as easy as always but yet I managed to purchase another unit so now I am you know a, a, a owner of multiple properties which is really exciting and 2022 is the goal to get another property under my belt uh, so I can start to create this property portfolio so that we have different um, stages of income um, which prices right for the business which for me for my growth for everything that i'm creating so yeah 2021 what a year i actually asked on my facebook and uh, to see what people think about 2021 and it was such a great question because i got lots and lots and lots of comments and i'm gonna read you some of those comments because um some people are like super excited one of them was phenomenal uh spectacular intense fabulous wow <laughs> interesting Kickstarter, um, hard, explosion, unique, life-changing, unprecedented, unprecedented, I can't say that word, but you know what I mean, um, it was just another year, someone said, uh, full-on, someone said, hell, someone said, 
and a mix bag of assortments love some of the flavors and a couple are yuck lol um so those are the comments that i got on my facebook post and if i were to say to you what is yours if you were to give a word for this 2021 what, how would you describe it are you proud of the person that you become in 2021 are you proud of the, how you showed up are you um excited for what you've created so far um, have a look at everything and really have a good conversation with yourself. For me, the best way to do this is always on a Facebook post because I like to share that with my audience. I like to tell my audience where I'm at. I like to, um, you know, in invite them into my journey. So up to you how you want to um, do this, but I would usually recommend that this is a really good post uh, to share for you with your audience in 2021, at the end of 2021. So uh, it's like a screenshot of what happens in the year what you learn, what you, uh, what you want to improve, what's, you know, what's the things that um, you struggle with, right? So really be open and vulnerable. So for me, 2021, wow, what a year. So I was dealing with a, um, a double breakup. <laughs> Do you like that? So in 2020, 2020, you know, I broke up with my um, former boyfriend and I was a little bit you know, a little bit um, heartbroken and um, the universe got me to uh, meet someone else quite quickly and I was very excited and I was very um, excited what day was going to go and um, that didn't work out. Two months later, uh, we actually decided to um, split ways and, and not it was not going to work out and I think that that knocked me on my knees even more. So I think that that's where 2021 at the beginning, it was like I was dealing with a double breakup. <laughs> so I was still healing from the first breakup and I was dealing with another breakup and then we got them um, locked down, as I told you, in 2021. And um, after that, a couple of staff members left, especially one that was very um, important. In, I had a really important role in the business and I just felt left and betrayed and there was lots of healing um, to go through. So it's been a really um, a healing year, if I have to say. It's been a year of uh, growth and healing and um, working on, on letting go the fear of being abandoned. Um, and it was just so powerful, so deep and so painful. It was so painful. I cannot, I cannot hide that. But with pain, there is also um, the other side, right? So we wouldn't appreciate all the good things that we had this year, last year or this year, uh, depending on when you're listening this to, um, if we didn't have the painful side. You wouldn't appreciate summer if there wasn't winter. We wouldn't appreciate um, the light if there wasn't dark. So it's one of the steps and it's like, oh no, do I have to go through the dark to go through and see the light and I appreciate the light? You don't have to, but um, it's actually a physic. We, we sort of, we sort of do have to. Sorry, I'm just contradicting there myself. But what I mean is like, you don't have to go deep in pain, uh, but you can, you still gotta go through it. So it's part of the journey, it's part of human, it's part of our um, path and part of our purpose. So 2021 has been for me definitely a year of um, growth, of learning. I've learned so much about me. I got to know me in so many deep ways that I thought of, I think I sort of avoided for many, many, many years and the true me came out and um, there were bits that I didn't like. There were bits that I wasn't proud of. There were bits that I pretended they were not there and they all came out this year. <laughs> they were all at the at the open and everybody knew about it and I knew about it and I saw it and I wanted to pretend they were not there, but it was time for me to stop pretending. Um, not saying that before I was pretending all the time, but there was bits that I was avoiding um, confronting because it was so painful and it has been such a healing year. And um, it wasn't easy when when I found myself going back into the business and, and having to work hard again, because let's be honest, my business was at a point where um, it was very, very um, self-managed. I had, I had an operational manager, I had people running their things, I would just have to show up and deliver. That's pretty much what I was doing. Um, and all of a sudden I had to go back in the business and really be involved again. And you know what happened though? That 
until I wasn't that present in my business, I started to lose passion for it. I started to feel disconnected. I started to feel not excited about it anymore. And the moment that I got back in the business and I got um, in it again, and, and it was really hard at first, but then now lots of ideas, lots of improvements, lots of things are back um, in the business, which is so exciting. So, 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 so exciting. So yeah, so this is what happened in my, all the struggles in 2021 brought me to the person that I am today. And I have to say, I'm freaking proud of who I became. And um, I know there's more to go and I know there's always plenty to grow and plenty to learn. And there's a better version of myself around the corner and I can't wait to meet her. Uh, but at the same time, I, I'm really excited about the person I am today. And I would love you to go and dig deep and find all those um, secret things that you have put away and you have pretended they were not there. And just be honest with yourself and talk about it and just bring them up. Um, and just just have a conversation with yourself and 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 bring the truth the truth was set us free yeah i started this conversation about the truth in 2020 and definitely 2021 brought my whole truth out every bit of it and there were moments that i was talking to my team say i don't know if i can do this anymore i honestly don't so there was moments that i wanted to give up there were moments that was really hard for me this year and um I'm very grateful for these moments now. In hindsight, at the moment I was, when they were happening, I promise you I wasn't grateful <laughs> at all. I was like, why to me? I was being a victim. Why this is happening to me? Oh my God. Um, and now I'm very, 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 very grateful because um, I'm closer to my team. I, I literally couldn't have done this without them. I'm closer to my clients. I'm closer to my friends. I'm closer to my family. I'm closer to me, I'm closer to my dog, <laughs> beautiful only boy, I'm closer to things that I was pushing away for fear of being hurt or betrayed or um, not understood and so on. So um, yeah, I welcome, welcome who I become and I look forward to see who am I going to become in 2022 and how am I going to grow and evolve in 2022. So um the question that I, the things that I want to want you to really dig deep is like, what did you learn from all the struggles and, and how the struggles were the best thing that could have happened to you? Because if we finish the year with gratitude and grace, we're going to start the new year with that feeling rather than, uh, I remember last year I didn't do this and I finished 2020 with regret and anger and I started 20, 2021 with victim and it doesn't really it doesn't really benefit us um, in, in, in such, at the end of the day, everything is meant to be and whatever it is, it is. But I really like the place I am at this year when I feel gratitude and I feel grace and I feel that I really like the person that I become on the other side. And um, there is still a couple of bits that I don't lo love completely, hey, it will, there always will be, but um, I'm always willing to, to embrace them and work on them rather than pretend that I'm not there. So, um, I was able to overcome a lot of the obstacles in 2021 because I leaned in, because I was vulnerable, because I opened up, because I let people know the truth. I didn't hide it. I didn't pretend. I didn't hide behind a glass door. I just, I just went, I'm here. I'm here. I'm struggling. Um, it's not easy. I, I don't, I didn't have the numbers that I used to have in my business. I didn't have the uh, success that I used to have in my business. So there was a lot of setbacks in a way, but, uh, I actually don't think there were setbacks. I think it was a year of, um, you know, restructuring and a year of, uh, putting things in place to be able to go in a different direction in 2022. And we are in 2022, we already are announcing a virtual assistant, um, agency. We're opening the empowered virtual assistant agency. We're going to find and train virtual assistant for people and actually continually training them and actually looking after the virtual assistant and managing them and supervise them for our clients rather than here, this is your virtual assistant, it's yours, we have done. Um, so it's going to be next level exciting what's going to happen in 2022. And um, it's, yeah, it's a different direction when Francesca is not going to be as um, involved in the coaching of, of the whole uh, memberships, but I'm going to be um, less involved, but more involved, if it makes sense. So I'm going to be like less present, but more, um, more, um, 
you can always have me, right? But you, but it's not going to be face to face. It's not going to be live. It's going to be more. Um, you're going to be able to watch stuff back and be able to uh, have access to my team. So you're going to have access to me via my team, which is sometimes even more valuable because learning something that from the person I created sometimes is not the best because a person is so far away. So um, so. Um, it grows so much and 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 maybe the way they explain things now is not as good it's not as simple as the way that someone else that is closer to your uh your position right now will actually be able to explain things so i can see how my clients benefit so much by talking to my team because they get them they get each other and it's so beautiful to watch and it's so beautiful for me to show you that you don't have to overwork yourself to be able to be successful and you can have a you know next week next month next year i've got um wednesday working from home and fridays I'll, I'll be free every single friday of the year so it's just like a different structure that i'm putting together to be able to empower my team to step up and they have big time in 2021 and now 2022 is to be able to watch them shine um and that's gonna be amazing um so all my friends i really wish you an incredible, amazing year. We're starting a year 2022 with an incredible uh, virtual summit. If you haven't got your uh, registration for it, get it now before uh, tickets are, are hopefully when you listen to this are still free if they're not um i promise you i'll i'll look after you so just private message my team if you say that you listen to the podcast and you said the tickets were free we can i can honor that for you i know it's crazy right crazy so um, come along to this uh, virtual summit. I've got my 500k club clients that have achieved massive success in 2021. They're going to share what worked for in, in our strategy for them, for the business. And they're going to teach you all about it, which is really exciting. So yeah, come along to virtual summit. It's going to be next level. Um, it's going to be awesome. So go and get your registration. Um, I want to give a shout out to you to you for showing up for yourself, for listening, for growing, for committing to this podcast, for committing to your learning, for committing to becoming the version of yourself that you are right now, um, for taking the challenges that I've been throwing at you in this podcast and go like, you know what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that. Um, thank you for showing up for yourself. And if you are uh, ready for 2021, I think if you're listening to this um, in time, there is a Boxing Day special that we had. And I think that uh, card is closing today so if you haven't got that make sure you go and message my team right now um, because it's a crazy crazy special instead of four thousand dollars you can get uh, my uh, bundle my ultimate uh, social media uh, package you can gonna get that for only 297 which is amazing um so get yourself on to that and um and this is my present to you to be able to say thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for uh, all your messages and reviews and comments and emails and requests and share uh, of this podcast. We are we are impacting people. We have over um, 10,000 people that listen to the podcast now. And it just blows my mind. Um, 108 episodes ago, there was nobody listening. So uh, that shows that, you know, consistency always pays off. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening, for showing up, for being here. Um, I'm enjoying this weekly catch up that we're having and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. And I look forward to see you next year, in next year, literally next week in a new year, new life, new you, new anything you want, new chapter. Go and write your own story, your own movie. You're the director. You've got this. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Hey, if you enjoy listening to this podcast, then you have to come to check out our Facebook group, Workshop Secrets for Coaches. It's a community of over 9,500 coaches that are ready to boom their business by running workshops. They are stuck in one-on-one -on -one coaching and they're ready to start to go one-to-many. So if you are one of those coaches, then you have to join us. I look forward to see you there. And hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave me a review to win a ticket to one of my workshops. I look forward to see you there.